likes and jokes, so hold the rod. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Exposing SMG. No, the title is not clickbait, and if you told me in 2018 that despite the fact that Justin and Haley got married, Jelena drama will continue to live on, I'd ask you one thing. Am I in hell? Now, there is a huge misconception on the internet as a whole about the truth of Justin and Selena's relationship, and because of misinformation being widely believed, it's hard to talk about things such as Selena commenting on a TikTok that addresses Justin in 2022 without it being reduced to something hateful toward Justin, even when Selena is kinda in the wrong. Or maybe she's not, I don't know, but you guys will let me know in the comments about this whole situation. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe for new videos each week and follow us on our social media and make sure to stay tuned until the end. I'm also going to talk about Taylor Swift and Harry Styles, Demi Lovato and Max Erich, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth, and I'm going to teach you about the breakup marketing tactics in the industry, so get your popcorn ready. On June 23rd, Selena commented on a TikTok that played her song, The Heart Wants What It Wants, and was captioned saying, he really hurt her. He, aka Justin Bieber, and The Heart Wants What It Wants is a song that is popularly known for being about one of Justin and Selena's 9 million breakups. And as I said, there is a scandalous story behind the release of that song, which I'll talk about in the end. So Selena commented a red heart and the drama only erupted on Twitter literally three days later because her fanbase tried to hide the fact that she commented on this TikTok. Sure, it was just a red heart, but a few questions are proposed. Why interact with a TikTok that's not just about your song, but directly addresses your ex who is married in the caption? How did you even find this TikTok that's not viral and is from the beginning of June? Why didn't you choose to interact with the hundreds of other videos that praise your music without directly correlating Justin to it? If you don't use the internet, how did you find the TikTok? So many questions. We have so many questions. By the way, Selena said in a Forbes interview that she's been off the internet for four and a half years. And honestly, I don't know how much I believe that. What do you think? She's also been posting way too much on social media, especially TikTok, in a way that someone who isn't off the internet for four years knows how to post. She knows how to work TikTok better than I do, and I didn't claim I was internet free for years. So what do you guys make of her comment? A lot of people said, but it's her song. And while I would normally agree, it's not about the fact that the video plays her song, it's about what it's captioned, saying he really hurt her. And what are the comments saying? It's talking about how she deserves better and how sad she seems. Basically, it's an anti-Justin video glorifying Selena, and that's the issue. I just think that Selena knew the comment would start drama, and she didn't have to comment about it, considering it was a teenage relationship from 400 BC. I mean, would you guys comment on a photo of yourself from a date with your ex that took place 10 years ago? Would you comment, wow, look how cute I look in those shorts, because it's a photo of you? Chances are you won't because it's not about what's in the post, it's about the context. Not only is the song famously about Justin, but the caption directly references him in a negative light. Like, come on, the man is married, his face is paralyzed, his wife gets endless hate every day, and is told that she is a second option every second of her life. Selena didn't need to add gasoline to the already bursting fire. Also, if the situation was reversed, it would have been a million times bigger than it is right now. I mean, Justin couldn't even perform his journals album on TikTok without everyone sending him hate for quote unquote, performing a love album about Selena. Meanwhile, the Journals album was performed because it was the sister album to Changes, which he was releasing at that time. 
On top of that, while Justin resonated a lot with the Journal's album, it was mainly written by one of the producers, Pooh Bear, who wrote it about his wife. And I don't know if you guys remember, but that turned into a whole thing just because Justin performed his album without directly referencing anyone. Haley also gets a lot of hate for singing anything from the Journal's album because it's become branded that it's an album about Selena. Meanwhile, it's a milestone album for Justin because it was his first real shot at R&B music in the industry, so it's important to a lot of people away from the messy Jelena breakup. But if someone put a video of his song Nothing Like Us, which is famously known about Selena, and the caption was, he was really hurt by her, and he commented on it, it would have started World War 3, and I'm pretty sure TMZ would have reported on this. But because it's Selena, it gets unnoticed. I just felt like it was unnecessary to interact with the video, knowing that her fans are gonna continue to use these little bits of details to accumulate and give gas to the huge hate train that is constantly going on about Justin and Haley. We've talked a lot about how Selena fans are responsible for negative content about Justin and Haley going viral. Speaking of which, this one account is responsible for these videos that are taken out of context, and with one look at the account, you see that it's already targeting Haley. They're known for posting absurd rumors and out of context videos that promote the anti Jaylee pro Selena narrative. And look at what's in their bio. They said that Selena liked two of their videos, and their bio says Jelena is iconic. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. We are now believing this random fan account? And usually I wouldn't, but Selena has a very long, long history of liking hateful posts about Justin, and more specifically about the women that are associated with him. I mean, in one of my recent videos about Selena, it was about how she was mocking the way Haley was putting on her skincare. And there are endless examples of Selena liking hateful content about girls that Justin was seen with after their breakup. Girls such as Sophia Ritchie, Yovana, Chantel Jeffries, Haley on several accounts, and so on. And so by judging Selena's track record, I don't find it that hard to believe that Selena would like hate TikToks from this account that is known to go viral. Especially since in 2020, yes, as recent as 2020, Selena literally liked a shirtless photo of Justin on Instagram and an old Jelena picture of them. And there were multiple screenshots of proof that she did, so it wasn't fake. And listen, I mean, I'd love to have the balls that Selena has, but it comes to a point where it's kind of pathetic that you're liking old photos of you and your ex and he's married. And it reflects badly on Selena as well. I also feel like this is disrespectful to Justin and more importantly his wife. I think Selena needs to chill and stop feeding into the narratives painted by her fans. She's obviously doing great right now with Rare Beauty success, her new Hulu show, and things seem to be going really well for her. Why must she still insert herself in old teenage drama? And in a way, it discredits what she's doing now, since I'm not talking about her new Hulu show, I'm not talking about Rare Beauty, what am I talking about? Jelena. Even if the comment wasn't a big deal, again, we're all here talking about it, right? We're talking about Jelena, aren't we? It also seems to be done intentionally by Selena. She used to do this all the time back when she and Justin were on and off a million times. They would get back together, he would post some selfie, suddenly she flies off, says she's single even though she was with him two days ago, and then boom, she releases a song. And this brings me to the heart wants what it wants. When a celebrity releases a breakup song, you want them to be as calculated as possible so you can maximize the revenue of the song. You want to create as much drama as you can and you want the world to think that you are insanely heartbroken because heartbreak sells. This is Business 101. Some celebrities perfect this and some celebrities do not. But if you look deeper into the song's production, you realize that the heartbreak act is all an act and that the celebrity is really playing you because that is their job. And suddenly, you end up romanticizing this act 10 years later and believing the story you were sold just as those people in the comments on the he really hurt her TikTok did. But my viewers, you guys are smarter than that. And that's why I'm going to tell you about the smart marketing tactic used to sell the heart wants what it wants and still has us referencing it as a pivotal point in the Jelena breakup. 
I mean, it's iconic if I do say so myself. I'm also going to tell you guys some tea about Taylor Swift and Harry Styles in regards to this marketing breakup tactic thing they do, and I'll also mention this in regards to Justin, Miley Cyrus, and Demi Lovato. Now the truth is, The Heart Wants What It Wants was recorded and the music video was filmed way before Justin and Selena broke up. In the time span between the creation of the song and its release, Justin and Selena were seen together multiple times, but interestingly enough, their breakup song was finalized about a year before its release. On March 25, 2014, Selena posted this picture of her on the set of the music video for The Heart Wants What It Wants and captioned it saying, Secret Project. Supposedly, the song was supposed to be released around that time in the spring of 2014 because Justin was seen with Chantel Jeffries and there was a lot of drama surrounding Chantel and Selena. It was kind of like a competition between them. She was liking like competitive posts and it was supposed to be a reply to Chantel. But now looking back at it, it doesn't make sense considering what does Justin being with Chantel have to do with the heart wanting what it wants, which is probably why they didn't release it around that time. Now about two weeks before the filming for Heart Wants What It Wants was all wrapped up, Selena and Justin were seen together around March 8. The music video was wrapped up sometime around March 25, but Selena and Justin still got back together multiple times before its release. Here they are at Coachella on April 15, 2014, June 8, 2014, August 14, 2014, August 28, 2014, September 6, 2014. And mind you, they aren't together at this point. They just keep reuniting for a few days of the week and then Justin would go back on tour or whatever he was doing and Selena would go promote some new project. In the middle of all these reunions, Selena literally says she's single on September 3, 2014. Here they are on September 14, and then Selena releases her movie Rudderless in October. Everyone thinks Justin's going to be at the premiere, but he's not. And bam, November comes and she releases The Heart Wants What It Wants, which was finalized in March of that year, eight months before release. Of course, it was released at the perfect time because they kept reuniting and then breaking it off for months. So the song seemed to make sense to the general public. But as per usual, Selena was acting in the video. Again, the song had been finalized and recorded. I can go into detail on Jelena's timeline in a way that no one else can, so let me know if you're interested in that video. I love Jelena, honestly. It's an iconic pop culture relationship, and I love the juiciness that comes with their messiness. Now to quickly end this video, let's talk about Harry Styles and Taylor Swift because this was also a very interesting story. I Knew You Were Trouble was a song marketed to be about Harry, and it's widely believed to be about their breakup, especially after what Taylor did, or better yet said, at the 2013 VMAs. But what would you do if I told you that the song was released before Harry and Taylor were even photographed together? That's right. Their first ever relationship outing was on December 2, 2012, when they were spotted walking together in Central Park. But I Knew You Were Trouble was released on November 27, 2012. I literally remember watching her at the 2012 AMAs performing the song, so I was quite shocked when she took a dig at Harry at the 2013 VMAs. I also want to thank the person who inspired this song, who knows exactly who he is, because now I got one of these. Thank you so much! And then the camera panned to an awkward looking Harry chewing some gum. Either Taylor is psychic and she predicted her breakup with Harry before they even started dating, or it's what I'm telling you all what it is. A specific marketing tactic when it comes to heartbreak. And I gotta ask you, Taylor accepting her speech last night, mm -hmm. kinda, kinda, I guess, joke and messing around with you a little bit or what? She's talking about now. It's alright. She likes a joke, so. so. Oh, it's about you. Yeah. I like a joke as much as the next guy, so it's all good. Okay. <laughs> Selena and Taylor perfected this, and Selena even did it again with Lose You To Love Me in 2019. Now Justin is a big celebrity, so you'd think he'd be able to perfect this, but he actually can't. 
Justin and Selena's breakup started in November 2012. That's when they first broke up, and the first song Justin released about their breakup was called Nothing Like Us, which was on the Believe Acoustic album, which was released on January 29, 2013. He only performed it once on Saturday Night Live in February 2013, but then we never heard of it again. He didn't really milk it the way Selena and Taylor milked their breakup songs, and it didn't even get a video. Someone else who can't get the breakup marketing tactic right is Demi Lovato, and I can make 9 videos on this alone because it really gets under my skin, but I'm only going to talk about one of the songs, which is called 15 Minutes, and it's about Max Erich. Demi and Max's breakup was widely viral since everyone was tuned in because Demi literally got scammed by some random fan who was obsessed with her ex-bestie Selena. And then he proposed to her and she was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a scandalous story. And she dragged the shit out of Max in 15 minutes, but she didn't even milk the song or perform it. She just randomly released it a few weeks before the album dropped and that was it. At least Max milked the breakup. He was fake crying on the beach like a loser. I'm already getting too heated, but I can go more in detail if you guys want, but I am trying to wrap this video up that I already feel is too long. Now last but not least, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. Directly after their divorce was finalized, she released her song Slide Away, which is said to be about Liam. She didn't really milk this, but it was released specifically after the divorce finalization went public because you don't record a song and film a music video right away. The song and video were ready to be released, but they waited for the perfect time to capitalize on it. Kind of like the heart wants what it wants. Like I said, it's business. Let me know if you guys want more videos on this kind of topic and if you guys enjoyed it. Also, let me know what you think about Selena still keeping Jelena alive. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you next time.